I'm here because of minor consumption, theft, and receiving stolen property. Uh, what part of, uh, are you from Indiana? I'm from Indianapolis, yes. Can you tell me a little bit about the, the um, charges that were brought against you and how they came about? Well, it started me and my brother were getting drunk together and we decided to go to a novelty shop, pick up a deck of cards, and I couldn't go in because I wasn't old enough. So I found a road sign in the trash, I got it out of the trash, tried to put it in the back of a truck and hurt my knee real bad in the process. And police and ambulance came and breathalyzed me, so. How long have you been here? I've been here for six months now. Have you been, uh, six months is your entire time in incarceration or, or did you spend any time anywhere else? Yeah, six months in my entire time. So tell me about uh, when you first came in here, how did it feel? Did you? Uh, I was here once before, back in 2004 and 2005, and this place has changed a lot. I mean, a lot of things have gotten worse. People have gotten worse, staff have gotten worse, rules have gotten more strict. It's a lot different. Last time I was here for nine and a half months, so things have changed a lot. And those changes, how do you think they've affected your experience here? I think they've helped me out more. I think the, the changes of the facility guidelines have actually helped me better myself, opposed to the last time I was here, when everything was more lenient and staff really didn't care. Can you tell me a little bit what, what about the changes were beneficial for you? Uh, the program, the groups, they have a new drug abuse program that I think has helped a lot. It's got different aspects in it that have actually helped me more, helped me realize ways to keep my time occupied, things I can do to stay sober, groups I can take. Did you have a drug abuse problem? Yes. Well, I was more of an alcohol person. Okay. Would you mind saying I had a drug abuse problem or I had an alcohol problem? I had an alcohol problem. So the groups here have helped you deal with that problem, it sounds right. like. Right. Okay. Do you think that because the rules are stricter, that's helped you? And if so, in what way? I think that because the rules are stricter, that it helps keep me on more of a straight and narrow, besides going off, trying to break rules, find little loopholes in the system. Plus, I've matured a lot. So just, I kind of stay calm, keep myself collected. The rules now are a lot more strict, so I try not to do anything to jeopardize my time. So I'm trying to get out of here as fast as possible. Okay, can you explain that to me? I mean, do you have to behave well in order to get out, or do you come in oh, yes. and take uh, that time? Oh yes, we have to behave well to get out because they have this new point thing. They have to get a certain amount of points, and if you don't get a certain amount of points, then you don't make your level. And they take points for profanity, disrespect, bad hygiene everything. Okay, so it sounds like you kind of have to earn your way out. Right. Um, can you compare, like, when you first came in here, what sort of person were you and what sort of person are you now? When I first came in here, I was more of a manipulative person. I tried weaseling my way through the system. I could be sly about everything, manipulate people to be on my side about things. But I realized it doesn't work like that in this place. So I just decided to work with the program, have it, help it to help me. Um, it kind of sounds like, and if, if you agree with me, go ahead and put it in your own words, it kind of sounds like when you came in here, you thought, oh, I'll just work the system, and then later you changed your mind. Is that correct? Yeah, I did think work the system, play it when I first came in here. But now it's, it's gotten a lot different because I'm more mature than I was, so, and I have a much better counselor than I've had before, and he helps me out a lot. Tell me a little bit about your counselor. Oh, my counselor is Mr. Sawyer. He's a really nice guy, he does his job to the best, he helps us out all he can, he does his groups really well, he, he explains them really well. It's where I, me, and other people around the unit actually understand what he's talking about. And, you know, he doesn't sound like a counselor, he sounds like a, like a, you know, a peer. How important do you think the counselors are to the offenders 
I think that the counselors are just as important to the offenders as the offenders are to the counselor. I mean, we have to help them help us. If we don't give them input, they're not going to give us output. Um, so tell me a little bit about today. What's going to happen? Today has just has been going by just like any other day. Wake up, I have my GED, so I go to work. I don't go, I don't have to go to school. I go to release arc today, so hopefully if I get accepted, I'll only have two weeks left. And go back to the unit. Hopefully have a good day. Try to avoid negative activities. What's an arc? What's an arc meeting? An arc is uh, what happens when. You achieve your release and transition levels. It's the next step to going home. Are you nervous at all about the outcome today? Yes, I really am. Because since I'm a recommit, they might try to hold me back. I'm hoping that they don't. But I'm sorry, would you mind saying I'm nervous about today or I'm nervous about going to ARC today? Yes, I am. I'm nervous about going to ARC today. And um, do you think there's a chance they might ask you to stay longer or do more work? I think there is a chance. They could ask me to stay longer, but if, if they do, I'm not going to let it get the best of me. I'm just going to accept it as an outcome and go on because nothing's permanent. Are you nervous at all that you might get angry or lose control? Yes, I am nervous that I might lose control, get angry, do something I might regret. How, how big a deal is this for you today? This is a very big deal today for me because like I said, if I get accepted to, to release, then I go home in two weeks, kind of ex hoping to go back to school. Go back to school. You have your G GED. Are you talking about going to college then? Or? Yes, I was uh, enrolled in college before I came here, a semester under my belt. So what, uh, what are your plans for the future? Uh, my plans for when I get out, I'm going to go back to school, get a job, hopefully get a car, get my own place, live life on my own, and grow up. Are you already studying anything specific? More, uh, in college, I'm studying mortuary science. What attracts you to that field? What attracts me to that field is I've always been really good with science and biology. Those have always been my two best subjects. I've always wanted to be something in the medical field because I've always found it interesting. But I don't want to work with the living just in case someone dies under the table. You know, I'll, hold, I'll feel like it's my responsibility. So I figure I'd be like a pathologist or a mortician, general director, help other people get through their griefs. Do you think there's anything about your experience here that will help you with other people in crisis? I think I could help other people from my experiences in this place because there's people in the unit that get out of hand all the time and they always need to calm down, take a breather, and I'm always usually pretty good to go up, pat them on the shoulder, hey, calm down, this is just a little bump in the road, talk them out of it. Great. Is there anything else you'd like to tell me about your experience here or what's going to When I get out? Yeah. I think the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go home and go to sleep. Most people say I'm going to go home and visit with my family and all that. But one thing I'm really looking forward to is just sitting on a comfortable couch. Because, you know, these hard plastic chairs aren't very comfortable. Is it hard to get good sleep here? Oh yes, very hard to get good sleep in this place. Our mattresses are only that thick. There's a little green mat on a steel bed and a thin blanket. Really cold sometimes in the unit. So now I've, I've only gotten maybe four hours of sleep a night at most since I've been here. Um, I guess just, um, you know, in, in, during your experience here, uh, the nine months or the six months, um, what are you gonna remember most about this experience? <clears throat> one thing I'm going to remember most about this experience is the people in here, the other offenders that I'm here with. 
because the best way that I can describe this place to someone that's never been here is to just imagine being locked in a room with 23 people that do not like you. <laughs> it's the best way I can describe this place. How stressful is that? It's very stressful. They've put, tried putting me on meds and stuff like that, but I'm, I don't like taking pills. I just found that the best way to call myself is I sit at the back of the unit by myself, listen to my radio, just go through the day. So it kind of sounds like your strategy for dealing with this is just kind of keep yourself, is that correct? Right, have my own strategy. Uh, hopefully people don't come here. This is one place they don't want to go. Uh, I guess Wyatt, I guess he just got denied. Uh, I guess because something that happened back at the unit a couple days ago, he got he got a major conduct report. I don't know. I don't know. We're not in the same unit, so I really can't tell exactly what happened. But I guess it affected him. Okay, so the fact that he got denied does that make you any more nervous? Makes me, the fact that he got denied makes me a lot more nervous because I don't know. I'm, I'm thinking that they might bring something up from the past. I've never been wrote up since I've been here. I've had a perfect program the whole time, whole way through, but. It's, it's one of those things. It's kind of on edge. They might bring something up. It's anything. So how are you feeling right now? Oh, on edge. I feel on edge right now. But from wondering if I'm going next or I don't know. I'm nervous. Really nervous. I mean. Anything can happen. He said it was because he was uh, being disrespectful to uh, Lieutenant Murray. And he was being disrespectful. I mean, I guess you write him up, but uh. Keep looking. Oh. <laughs> but if you uh. I'm sorry. Okay. So I'll, I'll ask you again because it's just I saw your eyes kind of wandering. So oh. I just keep keep looking at you. Okay. So what just happened? Oh, uh, Whitehead got denied for uh, his bad conduct, which uh, lead him to getting uh, you know. In this situation, then now, like I said, but if, I think if he just try, you know, do better, he probably can get accepted next time. He probably get to go two weeks later. He, uh, I can't say much about it because I've never been denied before. It just makes me more nervous about the situation. See if I get denied. Do you know if you have any, any minor or major conduct in your recent past? I don't think so. Not that I know of. I try. I don't. Try not to give me majors, because majors that just keep you in longer. Yeah. So the fact that he got denied, what does that do to you? Oh, just make me just think more like the denials. I thought they're just gonna give it to us. They just want us to try. They actually want us to try. So I look at it like that. Nothing come easy. We want to try to just get something that we want to achieve. We want to get out of here. We gotta do what they say or. Do what they that we do is expected the better of us. Mm -hmm. Anything else you want to say about this moment, like while you're waiting to come up before the um, I just hope I get accepted. That's all. How, how worried are you that you won't? Oh, I'm, uh, I'm not that worried that uh, I won't because I you know I tried to do. I tried to uh, turn to cheat. Try to be part of role model, you know. Try to tell other dudes in my unit what not to what what to do to lead them, you know, to get here. And did it, you know, to get here and just not to mess up, you know. So, uh, like, just in terms of this process, how nerve-wracking is this process? Oh, it's, oh, it's very nerve-wracking because you don't know if you're next, you don't know if you get denied, you know what's going to happen, you don't know if you're going to see your family as soon as you think, because you call your family to, oh, I'll be on such and such, and that don't happen, you're going to be sad. Then you don't know what's going to happen after that because they don't let you get, get accepted. I mean, if they don't let you come back again, you just, just sit here. Nobody wants to be here. How important is it to you to go see your family? Oh, it's very important for me to see my family because I haven't seen my little brothers in like a year or so. I see my mother lots of times, but I didn't really see my little brothers. You know, 
it's, you know, it's what's, what's bad about it is I don't know what's going to happen. I mean, anything can happen. They can get hurt any kind of way, and I won't be there. Or somebody probably try to get at them for something I did in the past. I try to get my little brother. Or it could be a friend who want to out. I mean, not the out. At home, and I won't be able to attend it because I'm in here. So how worried are you that, that they're not having you know, a male role model for them? I'm very worried because they're young and they just see, do what they see on TV and seeing things on TV is just, you know, just it's all messed up these days. And my brother just, my little brother just do that. They can be in a lot of danger. I mean, it could be a lot of drugs out there. They can be trying, a lot of gangs they can get involved with. And I just want, just want to get out of here. I can show them that this. We just got to. I just want to show them that this not. That's not the route to go because I've been there, and done that, and I already know the outcome of that. So tell me what happened and how you're feeling. Oh, I feel great. I had got my release. I should be going home soon. About two weeks. Yeah. I, I, feel, I feel happy right now. I can't stop smelling feel like I accomplished something. It's true that uh, hard work pays off. I prevented a lot of situations. I seen a lot of things that I, I didn't, didn't want to get involved with. And by that, I get to go home. Uh, my reward has come. You know, time is time been served. I go back and change, man. What have I learned in here? What have I, I mean, to uh, tell my family what I learned in here, what I've done, sorry. and. Uh, Hope I do good in the future. I know I do good, because it's been a learning experience. It's my first time being incarcerated. You know, all it takes is one time to know, feel like that uh, did something great today. And I can go back and tell everybody how it was, what, uh, what to do. I mean, if I can do it, I feel like anybody can do it. Okay. Do you think you'll ever come back here again? Oh, no. It's been a good learning experience for me. I refuse to come back. I won't do anything bad anymore. I'm going to do this uh, good thing, get a good job get back in school if I can, you know, get good grades, you know. Um, what's the first thing you're going to do when you get out? Eat some real food, <laughs> a what burger would, or something. What would you like to eat? Oh, some McDonald's or anything, McDonald's or something, or some of my mother's cooking, something like that. Do you miss your mom's cooking? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, would you mind putting that in a sentence for me? I miss my mom's cooking or... Oh, I miss my mom's cooking, chicken, macaroni, all type of things like that. And I also miss my family, show my brothers what the right thing to do, what's wrong to do, like I said before. And uh, spend time, go somewhere fun with my family, like Wisconsin, Dells, anything. Show my brothers that uh, I'm back and I'm, I'm better, I'm a renew and, and revive man. Anything else you want to tell me about your experience here or how you're feeling uh, right now? Uh, could have been better, could have been worse, but all I did is make the best of it. I just got accepted to release the arc. I feel really good. I feel like a thousand pounds has been lifted off of my shoulders. I feel really good. I mean, I, I haven't had this good of a feeling in a, like seven months. So, uh, what's the first thing you're gonna do when you get out? First thing I'm gonna do when I get out is go turn in some job applications. Maybe go out to eat, have some actual good food for a while. I'm gonna go back to the house and go back, go to sleep, sit on a comfortable couch. <laughs> Can I get that one more time? I just was adjusting. Yeah, the, right. the sun kind of keeps coming in and out too. Yeah. It's it's hard. Okay, so um, just the first question of the. Just the first thing I'm gonna do. Okay, first thing you're gonna do is. Uh, the first thing I'm gonna do when I get out is I'm gonna fill out some job applications and probably go out to eat, see some good food for once, and then I'm more likely just gonna go back to the house and sit down on a comfortable couch. Just go sit on the front porch and look at every look at everything. Just enjoy life. It's like a light turned off. I know. Cool. Look, it's a pretty big cloud. We might be able to wait, let's Okay, here comes the big the big uh, cloud. Why <laughs> is it right on the edge? Oh, gosh, it's bright. It's a hot one out here. Yeah, it is. Go try it? Yeah, let's do it. Um, so, uh, I don't know. Anything else you want to tell me about this experience or, or what you want to do? Uh, I've learned a lot from this experience. I think it's a, it's an overall good program for people that need it, but it doesn't work unless you work it.
you have to actually be willing to help yourself for the program to actually work. And it actually, you know, it does help people that actually need it. So most people in here just fly by the program, you know, I'm gonna manipulate the system and kind of go by, go out and do the exact same thing they were doing, come right back. Or maybe even worse, go to, across the street to the reformatory. My best advice to people that aren't here is don't come here because this place, is, this place isn't good. <laughs> did you have, in your experience here, did you have a moment where you're like, ah, I get it. I know now what I have to do to change my life. Do you have, did you have a moment like that at all? I had that moment right when I was in the courtroom coming to DOC. It's like, man, DOC again. Yeah, I'm 18 years old, it's time to grow up. I'm done with all this mess. I've had enough fun. I, you know, I can still have fun, but just, you know, sober fun. So you're not gonna drink anymore? No, I'm done, I'm done drinking and doing drugs and messing around with criminal activities, all that. I'm gonna take, take my life seriously.